Disaster recovery operations can be complex. With Veritas Resiliency Platform, the whole process can be made fairly simple. We're looking at how this would work in a VMware environment. So here we have our primary data center. And over here, we have our DR data center. Fairly typical configuration. There are two main components that make this whole process flow smoothly. The first is the Resiliency Platform Gateway. This is a virtual software appliance that runs here within a vSphere HA cluster. It actually can run on any one of the ESX hosts within that cluster. The second thing that enables this whole process is called BIO. This stands for the vSphere APIs for IO filtering. This is an API recently introduced from VMware that enables third-party technology companies like Veritas to intercept IO as it's moving from a VM to its disk. The plugin that we install here at the hypervisor level is called VXTAP. So as this data movement is happening, we can intercept that data and then send it up here to our gateway appliance. From there, the replication gateway replicates that data to the gateway appliance that it's paired with at the DR data center. Now over here, we have a disk that's connected to this gateway. And the data stream coming from our primary site, it's being tapped right here at the hypervisor level, that gets sent up to our gateway and then replicated down on this site to our local disk is essentially how the process flows. So let's look at what would happen in the situation where we wanted to do a migration. So that would be a scenario where we have VM1 over here, we wanna bring this down on our primary site and then bring it online on our DR site. So first thing that happens is we bring VM1 down here on the primary site. This is a graceful shutdown. Now we already have our data synchronized between disk one here and our disk at the DR data center. The next thing we do is we actually detach this disk from our gateway appliance. We then unregister VM1 from the inventory at the primary site. We can then register VM1 to the inventory at our DR site, attach our synchronized disk up here to VM1, and then finally, we would reverse the direction of the replication so that any changes that are now being written to this disk at our DR site are being replicated back to our primary site. The last thing we would do is attach this disk to the gateway here, which is then the target for data changes and updates coming from our DR site. And that's essentially how the process would work within a VMware environment.